welcome to Let's Meet Abroad. We are Adi and Mira. Last month, we flew to Malaga and we did an amazing road trip in Andalusia. The last two days of our road trip, we decided to spend in Malaga. We explored all the beautiful sites. And in this video, we will share with you our top 10 things to do in Malaga. So join us on our adventure. On our first morning in Malaga, we woke up early to see the sun coming up from this amazing sunrise point. Guys, we are walking to the sunrise point and it already looks so pretty. <laughs> the sunrise is in an hour or maybe 40 minutes, but the sky is already turning pink and there's full moon on the other side. I feel like we're a little bit late, but yeah, let's take you. We're going to show you the best views. So guys, we just enjoyed the best sunrise. It's literally the first time I'm seeing the sun coming out of the ocean. Like I've always seen sun setting up in ocean, but it was just amazing to watch. And you can have these views when you come to the Castillo de Gibral Faro. I hope I'm saying it right. And the castle opens at nine o'clock, but you can still go to this lookout point to check out this amazing sunrise. After watching the city waking up, we headed to Castillo de Gibral Faro which was just 50 meters away from the lookout point. The castle was built back in the 14th century by the Moors, and today it is one of the most visited monuments of Malaga. Views from here over Malaga are just amazing. You can see everything. You can see the sea and the whole city of Malaga. And this place was built to protect the Alcazaba. And the Alcazaba is just over there behind me, and we will visit that one later. <laughs> it's a bit windy up here, as you can see. Until 1925, the castle was used as a military base. You'll also find a museum within the castle where you can view the clothing, weapons and old documents from that time. Entrance of this castle is not that much. For 5 euro 50 per person you can enter this castle and also the Alcazabre. It's not connected to each other but you have like, the ticket for both. Uh, you can also choose to just visit this castle then it is 350. So yeah, it's worth it for the views you get from this place. After walking around the castle, it was time for some breakfast. And there's no better way than starting your day with the best churros in town. If you want to have churros in Malaga, you have to be at Casa Aranda. This is the place in Malaga to have your typical real Spanish churros. It is so good. After enjoying our last churros in Spain, we headed to the beach. But on our way, we found something else, Malaga Park. Like you could barely imagine that this park could exist in the middle of the city. Yeah, especially in summer, you know, the, the city gets extra warm, so you Crazy want to cool warm, down. Yeah. And I think the beach is maybe also super warm in summer. This is really the place to cool down. I yeah. So we are here now on Playa de Malagueta, I hope I say it right, and it's, this is the beach from Malaga and how cool is that, that you have this beautiful city over there and just next to the city you're on the beach. So that's like the perfect city trip, but I think it's also time to take this one off now because I also see people in bikini and I'm wearing this warm thing here. Imagine now, it's, it's February and it's already beach weather, wow, it's like how many days of sun they had here? 2.30 320, 320. 320 days of sun. Insane, we have 320 days of rain in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> right, this beach is super chill, like you can literally be on the sand here for the whole day, especially how, especially how the temperature is now. But we have a lot of places to explore today, so we're gonna take you there and we're gonna probably come to this beach in the evening. What do you think, Mira? Yeah, I think the sunset. <laughs> I'm almost sunset. confused by the sunset, sunrise. Sunset must be insane from here. Yeah. You think the sun goes down there, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, and that's not like it's a bit rare that the sun really sets on the beach. Sometimes it's the other way around, and then you feel really sad. Adi, why are you a bit sad? I'm a bit sad because uh, we came to this beach in the afternoon, really nice and warm, super cozy, 
and we thought that the sun would set there you know like you literally see the sun going down the going down the horizon but the sun is setting somewhere i don't even know where it's like there <laughs> so but don't worry going to the beach was still worth it after the sun set the whole sky turned red wow guys <laughs> it's really pretty from here but let's leave that for later we'll take you back to this morning how was it Oh, it's so tempting yeah, to jump into that water until you touch it. It's cold? <laughs> oh, I think I couldn't go in <laughs> for a spin. No, no. Malaga is a beautiful city where you can find a mixture of old and new, beaches and parks, mountains and shopping street. It's a perfect city trip destination. We headed for a walk on the boulevard of Malaga, and soon we realized we can also cycle here. So you can guess what we did. So we just got our bikes at QQ Bikes. Um, it's not the quality of bikes that we are used to, but I think it will do its job for today. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with these bikes. Uh, rent a bike and uh, just uh, ride around the boulevard. It's uh, really pretty and kind of bike friendly. There's not many people. I mean, there is many people, but you can still get away. Later on, we headed to the main market of Malaga, the Atrasanas Market. So in my back, you see the Atrasanas Market, and this is the main market of Malaga. You see here a lot of locals, but also a lot of tourists. And it's the perfect place to get your vegetables or to get some tapas. But we are vegetarian, and I didn't see any vegetarian tapas. It's mainly fish and meat. And a fun fact, Atrasanas means shipyard, because back in the time when they built this market, this market was next to the water, next to the sea. And now the sea is two kilometers further away. So, the, yeah, I thought it was really fun, correct. Global warming? Global warming, yeah, <laughs> After discovering the 127-year-old market, we wanted to discover the modern side of the city. So we headed to the famous shopping street of Malaga. So behind me you see the Calais Larios, which is the shopping street of Malaga. And for shopping, Malaga is the destination. Really every shop you want to go to, you can find here in Malaga. And after you go shopping, you go to the beach. It's a perfect combination. Now Mira wants a perfume. So this is of course the main street, but on the main street you also have all these side streets where you can find even more shops. So it's just everywhere, you can just walk around here I think for all day shopping and finding cool little places uh, to find some perfume. <laughs> So we are at the Cathedral de la Encarnacion and the structure, look at this, it is insanely massive but we are not going inside because there's a big big queue and the outside is already so beautiful that yeah we are already so much satisfied with the views that we chose not to go inside and we were also here last evening so that time the whole lights lit up next to the cathedral and it also looked so amazing so if you have time you can also come in the evening just to explore the cathedral and the area around this because all these streets the lights to turn off and it just looks so cozy After spending our afternoon walking in the city center, our next plan was to go to the neighborhood Soho in Malaga, which is the ultimate destination for street art lovers. You just walk around and then you see, you can just see everywhere street art. And there's also a museum, the Museum of Contemporary Arts. And it's a free admission and inside you see some really cool paintings. We just walked around for a bit. Speaking of museums in Malaga, I don't know if you guys know, there's about 36 museums and one of the most famous one is from Pablo Picasso because he was born in Malaga. But we are not really museum people so we are enjoying more food. Yes, Malaga has plenty of food options so we couldn't resist doing a food tour in Malaga but we'll keep that for another video. Later that afternoon, we headed to the beach again. And it was just so surprising how the blue sky turned red in a fraction of seconds. Wow, guys, <laughs> it's really pretty from here. Oh, look at all these birds. See that 
cloud behind me. I don't know if it's that clear on the video, but I think I've never seen something like that. That just the whole sunset is reflected into a cloud. It's so crazy. We just witnessed one of the most beautiful moments like the moon is coming up from this side the sky has turned red like fiery red it was just like incredible to watch so <laughs> you can come here during sunset you're not gonna see the sun going down but the reflections and the clouds how they change its color it's just insane like literally what do you think Vera? Yeah, it's still it's still going on over yeah. for how long? For an hour. It's just yeah. so pretty. It is so cool, so cool. We enjoyed the sunset so much that we had to find a better place to enjoy the sunset. And we did. Next day we went for a tough hike to the peak Saint Anton. And from the top of Saint Anton, you can enjoy the best sunset over the city of Malaga. I think this is a really beautiful ride guys, it's literally just next to the beach and it goes on for forever so I would really recommend you guys to do this bike ride and obviously the weather is so nice yeah you gotta be careful of the traffic but yeah it's insanely beautiful Our master plan to catch the sunset on the right time was to ride the bike as close to the mountain and then hike up from there it was a good plan, but it was tough, really tough. I think it's one of the toughest hikes we did until now. I think we are not even on the beginning yet, on the start. But I think it's going to be so much worth it. I hope better is. <laughs> did you already told how these mountains are called? No, I haven't. No? Can I do it? Yeah. They are called the Tetas a la Malaga. Tetas. Tetas a la Malaga. And if you don't know what that means, use Google Translate or use your imagination. Whew. You're there at the starting point. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just another 700 meters up. And if you go 700 meters up, it can take. We will see. <laughs> yeah, we have no idea. <laughs> but it's. Uh, but we are super sweaty, super warm. Yeah. But not complaining. So, guys, I think we have to go probably up here. So, we took a little shortcut. Now the mountain looks a bit closer. Oh. And the sun, we have the race with the sunset. <sighs> Maybe not that fast, that, but we're running up a freaking steep mountain. And <laughs> you have to run up a bit more, Adi. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you see how much effort it was? You see? Adi is taking a backpack of uh, 10 kilos. And I think we did in 50 minutes what normal people do in an hour. Yeah. So while we are enjoying this beautiful view, I have a little present for Adi. Present? Yeah. It's coming. What is a present? It's coming. I'm curious. Da, 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 da. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, where so did you get romantic. it from? Oh, from the chocolate shop. That's a cute present. Nice. Yeah, not from chocolate shop. Miss Sushi. From oh. the sushi place. Nice. Oh, yeah. So That's we have it. something to enjoy here because we almost don't have water as well. I don't yeah. know if this will make it better. But wow, wow, wow. It's so nice here. Really, if it you're in crazy. Malaga and you like to have a little bit of an activity, really try to get here. Maybe rent a car or if you're already renting yeah. a car, you can drive up. But it's so cool. Wow. It's so really beautiful yeah. especially we are on the mountain which is a little bit higher and the mountain which is in front of us just just looks so magical and there's a little bit of mist in the sunset so hopefully when the sun goes down it all turns pink but there's mountains but, yeah. like everywhere you know now you see how small malaga is and there's just mountains it's yeah crazy like like if you i didn't know i didn't know from spain it was so crazy scenery yeah. south spain
so this was it for Malaga and we literally just enjoyed the most beautiful sunset and now all the city lights are turning up it is just Amazing. insane I will put down in the descriptions all the information you need to enjoy this sunset because oh please do it do it if you go to Malaga it's yeah, so it's, worth it yeah <laughs> like you have you, like I don't know if the cameras can do justice or no like what view we are watching yeah it's yeah. just beautiful Amazing. so and you would also put all the links of all the places where we went in the description below so and if you have any questions you can reach out to us on Instagram or just comment below yeah. and let us know what you yeah let us know if you like the video or not and if you have any other tips about Malaga also let it know uh, down down below in, in the comments uh, to give the tip to some, someone else who's visiting Malaga yeah so if you like the video give a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel there's a lot more videos coming from south of Spain and we have a we have a whole list of adventures planned throughout the year so, so subscribe to our channel or did you already say yeah i oh, did that was the, the, okay now yeah see you in the next one yeah <laughs> oh, so insane